the best at NBA 2K12, you have to be the best at NBA 2K11. And I have done that numerous times. It's time for my NBA 2K12 wish list. This is iPod King Carter. And this is what I love to do. Yeah, what's going on y'all, it's Hot Pot King Carter here, the Superman of YouTube, I'm checking in straight off NBA 2K11, this is my NBA 2K12 wish list. just don't worry about what I'm doing in the video, I know everybody's gonna be hyped, but just worry about the words that I'm gonna preach to y'all, basically, this is what I expect from NBA 2K12, and I hope y'all like my point of view on the game, let's get to it. Alright guys, first I want to start it off with the intro for NBA 2K12. Um, I've seen that Larry, Magic, and Jordan will have their very own covers. Um, hopefully they do some type of intro on the game for Jordan as they did last year, Magic, or Larry. But also if they don't want to go with that, I hope that they do do a reenactment of the finals last season with the Mavs and the Heat. That would be perfect to start off. Uh, NBA 2K12 um, intro also um, when starting off when it's loading up the internet and you know it's taking so long I hope that they fix those little tweaks whereas though you got to sign in and it's loading up all this nonsense trying to load NBA today I hope you have the option of turning that off from the get-go so it won't keep asking you to sign in every minute of every second all right next um, of course first I'm going to start off with the quick games um, quick games really don't need much to them more they do need more presentation like they said they're going to update they definitely definitely need more commentators for like say you say you play for the Sixers um, and you want to listen to your hometown commentators I hope that they would have that in this game because there are a lot of commentators out there that's overlooked and they're really good like I really like my hometown commentators so I hope that they have more commentators I hope they talk about more stuff than just what they did last season and you know dunk contests and three point shots everything from last year hopefully they'll be able to talk about like tree rumors and things like that that's actually going on in uh, the actual game and everything updating with NBA today as well also the playoff atmosphere should be basically different than a regular season because the way i see in the crowd this season it really wasn't that much different okay maybe they showed the how many people were going to come to the games if it were two dynamic teams or if how if the nets went up against let's say the Cavs. okay then you know the the crowd wouldn't be that big but you would still hear the same amount of fan, fans like it's really not it's really not that much different all right association mode they need to bring back the trading block like come on you can't put every player on a trading block and then let it tell you that you interested in them a few days or so like come on no that's too that's too much going on like teams shouldn't accept trade straight away you should have to think for about it for a few days you know you know like real basketball and they need to add all-star weekend instead of just having a rookie in a in an all-star game like come on add the slam dunk contest the skill challenge the horse challenge all that even the old like you know when old heads come on and play you know against and do the shootouts against each other they need to bring all that into nba 2k12 that would be amazing also the the black the black top mode you know what they need to only make that for like street balling games like you know contest something like that don't don't add the whole all-star weekend to the black top we need to see that in the arena. I don't want to see that outdoor. I want to see that with all the screaming fans. You know, where, where, where is it actually supposed to be going on at? Like, that's what I want to see. And my number one thing is my player mode. Come on now. Teams, since teams are interested in you and you have to request a trade, you should have the option of seeing what teams are interested in you, seeing how much money you make, see, you know, contract extensions and all of that. You need to be able to see all of that. I think they need to make the dynamic for that a whole lot bigger. Also, the endorsements, come on, the Jordan brand endorsements is all that. But they need to bring Nike, Reebok, Adidas. You know, you can put on all these different shoes, but you can't get those endorsements. They should have a wide variety of endorsements 
being able to be used in my player mode also and the endorsements they should offer you contracts and you should choose whether you want to sign that contract or if you want to wear the shoes or if you want to be on that billboard like and <laughs> yo it should be crazy and also accessories is a must now accessories now i've seen a couple people like right in the game i don't know if y'all know i can't remember his last name but his last name is right his hair was crazy like he had the shape up design all throughout his hair they should have those type of options for you in my player mode when you keep picking and choosing what type of player you want to have skin tone all that you know accessories mouth guards goggles they should have all of those accessories you know what if somebody want to make um kareem like what if somebody really wanted to make kareem you ain't got no goggles or nothing you don't got nothing so i think that accessories is a big thing as well also nba today i mean not nba today nba.com on my player mode it keeps up with a, a few things but you have to go team by team to really see what's going on in the league instead of having like six windows of the top stories i think they should make it more like espn a little bit you know like having like big breakthroughs of what's going on you know a long list of a whole bunch of stuff updating day by day like even like say you say you practice or something you do a shoot around if you do a shoot around you want to say can I, can I simulate to my next game day and take those two days off you can see what's actually going on in those days instead of you going into the next day and you don't even know who won the game so you can't even game plan on your next game like in the playoffs like say say Kobe and them are down three to one they down 3-1. But when you play your next game and it simulates you to the next thing, oh, all of a sudden, Kobe and them won. Come on, man. I need to see day by day. That's why some people choose to just sit there, watch the game simulated. You know, it, it's a lot that goes on in my player mode that they need to change. And I think they made the, need to make a harder difficulty. I, You know, it's not, not saying that I'm nice, but the difficulties that they have, it doesn't change nothing for your my player i can score 60 to 70 points on hall of fame by myself but they need to make it as where the competition evens out like my team needs to be just as good as the team that i'm playing on hall of fame like my team needs to be scoring just like i am if i give somebody the ball and his shot his medium shot is a 97 and he misses an open j that's blasphemy i don't need all that i need that's why a lot of people think my player mode is just an arcade game that people don't want to play so you need to have that structure you need to have that that equilibrium in effect so you know all right also um i just think that like before the game start like you know the, the presentation when the game is starting instead of just having the same old same old you need to have like a certain amount like say my last game i'm the my player my last game was crazy they should have me in the beginning presentation they should have me doing my pre-game warm-ups and all that they should also give people a choice on what type of because when you put your emotion up the only thing that happens is when you do certain things when fouls is called calls are called i just think that if you raise your emotion to a certain level they should give you the option to choose what you want to do in your pre-game warm-up do you want to jump on the rim and put your head through it do you want to bang your head on the on the court do you want to throw up powder like people should have that choice there's a lot that other that pl real people do that some people my players want to do so i just think i'm just speaking for everyone when when i say they need to have that type of presentation in my player mode it's your player you should choose what you want to do with them they should have a wide variety of options also dunk packages and layup packages they need so many more because i done seen so many freaky layups from people that look like they not even crazy with it but really be doing some crazy layups i just think that they should make more packages for dunks and layups also that whole um specialty dunk stuff and all of that i just think they should take that stuff out and make those into packages because if you want to have a tomahawk package or you want to have a windmill package they should make that instead of having specialty dunks that messes up your entire package that you have like say i got lebron package and i just want to i want to tomahawk it on somebody crazy it'll make me do a windmill or it'll make me do that jordan uh dunk the one where he uh like on the symbol of the sneaker that, that makes you do that all the time and it's crazy because sometimes you just want to do your regular dunks and they just don't let you also the, the the specific crossover packages they shouldn't do numbers they should do names like they do the layup and and the uh dunk packages because 
that's 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 crazy to me like you putting all these numbers you trying to do all these like different you know moves and all that. it's too it's going it's too much going on like it's way too much going on also like halftime and all that they should make a halftime show straight up and and quick games crew game all that it don't matter and my last my last thing that i want to get into is crew games i'm gonna get to that in a second but halftime shows need to be more than just an on screen seeing what seeing what happened in the first half they should have like fans walking to the walking to go get something to eat or people staying for crazy shows and all of that depending on what what city you're in you know like say you're home maybe you want to see the halftime show let the halftime show be seen but if you're away don't let the halftime show be seen. It's just like you're watching regular TV. If you're watching TV, you don't get to see none of that. But just make it, it, it it's just crazy. Just make something like that. But my last thing I want to touch on is crew games. Uh, 2K, I love y'all, but y'all need to update them servers. Um, I'm tired of playing on Japan's time zones and all of that. You guys got to figure this stuff out, man. We we play over 700 games every season. And we might have 400 wins and 300 losses. And... and 300 of those losses are due to people quitting on us but we catch the l y'all gotta y'all gotta fix that man it's 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 not that hard like y'all guys gotta fix this um also uh in the crew games you need to give us more emblems well well uh team team icons i guess you could say you need to give us more of that man we need to see better stuff like a b and all that no we need to see actual images and stuff like that let us let us rock out in crew games with with our home team's um emblems and colors like don't just give us the colors and say piss off let us rock out with our home with our home teams like maybe maybe somebody won't rock with the lakers laker colors but have the 76ers emblem or somebody might like the 76ers colors but won't rock with the golden state emblem like give us the choice on a lot of different things just don't don't hold us to a minimum and bring a game out so fast and say i'm gonna make y'all jizz but we gonna hold this back from y'all and then next year we gonna say we gonna come out with something better because i've heard a lot of things talking about oh we're gonna fix the free throw routines and all of that i'm not worried about the free throw routines per se i know for a fact that when somebody goes to the line and you're playing on hall of fame the first person that goes to the line it says 15 seconds and then it drops down to five seconds but people might think that you're saying yo he not playing on hall of fame he's just fixing the clock and all that but you know i'm not really too much worried about the free throw routines i'm just worried you know the thing i'm worried about is the cut basket scenes and also the uh slam cams and all that and action replays i like the gatorade and the action replays but uh, we can we can do without all of all the cutting scenes and all of that, you know Maybe show the player for a few seconds, but don't get too crazy into it. But the last thing on my list you guys um, That I do want to touch on and I forgot it totally is at the end of the game Yeah at the end of the game. We need to see our press books and our action replays Just like when you're playing a, a game online Don't don't let my player mode sit up there and just say quick game and go straight to the press conference Come on man. Come on but that was my NBA 2K, 2K12 wish list. I'm out of here, you guys. Peace.